Hi guys, I'm Sean. This is Alyssa. Gus is right here. And this is Internet Rabbit Hole Daily. As some of you might know, we have dipped our toes into the cricket, cricket waters, world I guess. Cricket. Yeah. And so, of course, uh, as per usual, we're getting like everything wrong. We don't know a mm. thing. We're just a couple of dumb Canadians. But uh, yeah. you guys seem to enjoy the last couple reactions we did. Mm. So we decided to do one that you folks have been asking a whole lot for, which is uh, the Netflix Cricket Explained. So uh, I'm ready to jump into it whenever you are there, Alyssa. I'm trying to move up. Because... Okay. Uh, okay. It's a challenge having a dog on so your yeah, lap for every reaction. The only explanation video we watched was like from Global and it was only like two minutes long. Mm -hmm. so it's like 16 minutes. This is an episode from Explained on Netflix. Netflix. All right. I'm hoping it starts like right at the beginning, you know? What do you mean? Like white when they yeah. invented it kind of thing. Sport. Played, sir. Cricket. Oh, Stephen Fry. Of course, doesn't that even have rules. It has laws. Oh. And that immediately strikes some people as pompous. And Love that guy. Those mm. laws were mostly written in 19th century London, at a pitch still considered oh. the home of cricket. It's not that old. So it was developed in London. In tradition, and it got left cricket. It has a tea break in the game. Ah! It's definitely a test of attrition. A lot of people can't get That's their like their halftime. You stand out there. I guess so. Days. But cricket has changed. It's, it's a new It's changed a bit. Sport. I'm not sure that they have tea time in like your modern day matches. So it's just like, you know, they someone should. walks out with some tea they halfway through. That yeah, I don't know. Maybe they do somewhat. I don't know. It's bringing in more money, fans, and a different style of play. Uh, but one thing hasn't changed. It is one of the most complicating sports on mm. earth. It's totally wiggly. It doesn't even follow any mm. apparent obvious reason. That, that makes it fun, though. The one billion people that were estimated to have watched a single cricket match in 2015 between India and Pakistan. Wow. One in seven humans. Wow. So That's how crazy. did this confusing British game <laughs> become his, one like, of the most binoculars. popular sports on earth? That's insane how popular cricket is, eh? It's just unfortunate. Actually, like in Canada, it's not a super big thing. Yeah, you just don't hear it. That's, that's you know, us North American yeah. people. We sometimes don't uh, pay as much attention as we should uh, with what the rest of the world is doing. And I think this would be an example of that. Maybe it's just too complicated. Yeah, maybe it's too us. complicated. Yeah, I don't know. Like that could be true. and like soccer. Baseball. And simple yeah. rules. So you like that? Yeah. Yeah, the, I was just looking at that. The, the nippy covers? Thing. Yeah, you were. How to play. All right. Two teams of 11 play each other on a field shaped like an oval. The batting team has two players on the field at a time, on either end of the pitch. They're trying to score runs. Fielding team is trying to get them out. On each side of the pitch is a wicket. Three stumps topped by two bales. A batsman stands in front of a wicket, trying to hit the ball delivered by a bowler. If the batsman hits the ball, they score runs by exchanging okay. positions with the other That's batsman. That's so crazy. Oh. Each exchange equals one run. Yeah. While the like, is that their version of like, like running through the bases? Three bases? That's the sense I'm getting, yeah. So one of them bats it, but then they And then they sort of switch, switch spots, spots. Here? I don't know, yeah. But okay, it's how long it takes them to return the ball or something. I want to know how they get them out. Fielders try to get the ball and hit one of the wickets before a batsman gets there. Oh, ah. they have to hit the wicket. Oh, that's Make cool. The ball knocks the bales off the stumps. They're out. Oh. And a new batsman. Bat if the batter knocked the things off the stumps, is that what it was saying? The batter. I, or no, the one of those fieldsmen. Yeah, like one of the it. guys on the so other team has to knock they off the thing. No, Doesn't no, it? if they knock it out, they're knock it off they're out i think they can't knock it off in a certain they have to hit it in a certain way or something batsman hits the ball hard enough they <laughs> we're we're how many we're two minutes and 50 seconds well, in and we're more confused than when we it's started really breaking it down <laughs> well, i'm kind of getting the hang of it i don't know about you if the batsman hits the ball hard enough they won't have to run if they hit it to the boundary it's worth four runs Whoa. way over the boundary 
That's Whoa! It. Oh, wow. If a fielder catches the ball, batsman is out. I just oh. wonder, do they still have to like run six times? Yeah, or go is back it just, and forth. There's like a ceremonial. You just, just get like the six points, points. right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The bowler can also get a batsman out if their delivery hits the wicket, knocking the bales off the stumps. Can choose mm. not to swing or swing and miss the ball. He won't get out as long as the wicket is safe. Oh. I thought the batter could hit the other wicket though. I thought the or who who's it's always the other team that's trying to hit the wicket. I think so, and I and think the batters are trying to protect, protect the wicket. It. Okay, okay. That's called an over, and it's really important. After each over, a teammate takes their place. When ten of the eleven batsmen are out, it's called an innings, oh. and the other team bats. In traditional cricket. Each team has two innings in a match, and the team with the most runs at the end wins. If they haven't finished after five days, the umpire calls a draw. Five days. Obviously not. Oh my gosh. Straight. I imagine that doesn't happen too often, but maybe it does. The you matches guys are know. just really mm. long, right? Like they just pick up where they left off, I guess. Yeah. Technically, there are 10 ways to get out. But if you ask someone to explain mm. them, Cricket can get very confusing very quickly. Mm. Leg before wind. Well, this is making me feel better because they're admitting other, it's it's confusing. Well, with our yeah. other reaction, people were kind of some some people, few people were kind of annoyed that we weren't like getting it. Yeah, they're like, After, if you like, want to know what video, <laughs> if you want to know what's oh, happening, wow. just shut up and listen. <laughs> yeah. It's very complicated. Can be out. And the nature of the umpire, the nature of uh, fielding positions, silly mid on, silly mid off, extra cover, third man. It's all very coded and peculiar cricket, I suppose. That's the problem. Mm. The British didn't just write the rules of cricket, they spread it around the world mm -hmm. by taking it to their colonies in the 18th and 19th centuries. British soldiers played it and, uh, and uh, the, the local people either took to it or didn't. In Canada, they didn't particularly. Uh, a bit cold. Yeah. They went for the ice hockey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Well, we went for the ice hockey. So that's why it was Even big in India? Because it was it was a well, former like British colony. Yeah, yeah, and it sort of was conducive to... It was a lot of fun from the looks of it, too. Oh, New Jersey. Like, yeah, is it big in the States? Not that I'm aware of, no. United States played before baseball became the patriotic mm -hmm. pastime. Mm -hmm. America. Yeah, they were it's probably like, like oh, this is too It's kind of confusing, we'll yeah. Just do baseball. <laughs> well, let's not put baseball so down here. Come on now. Yeah, baseball's like 10 times more simple, less complicated than cricket. Cricket smacked of colonialism, and therefore they were not going to play. But in other colonies, playing cricket was an opportunity to beat the colonizers at their own game. Uh. And the English began inviting teams to come test their skills against them in England. The competitions were called test matches, which is what the long form of the uh. game continues to be called. Mm. Yeah, the, we need to react to the trailer, the test. Okay. So we're going to do that. Is it a movie about this. cricket, I think? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool the countries and the top countries that played the game has that little element of wanting to get back at the English. Yeah. And the colonies mm -hmm. got a new opportunity to show them up. Starting yeah. in 1975, cricket got a World Cup. I can't believe it didn't have one until then. World Cup, cricket would still be a gentlemanly agreement. Oh, oh yeah, we're, we're free at that time of year. We'll come over. Whereas the World Cup gives everyone the chance to prove themselves. I love that. It like gets more shorter. officials, what yeah. trying to say? A winner yeah. and a loser. So they played a one day form of the game that limited the number of overs faced by each team. Oh, okay. Gotta keep it moving. World Cups were both won by the West Indies. My mother was jumping in the kitchen when the West Indies were winning. Did she care about the game that much? No. Did she understand the game mm -hmm. that much? No. But cricket meant a lot to us as West Indians, and not just in the Caribbean. Why is it called cricket? Does it have to do with, like, the wicket? Uh, maybe. In the third World Cup, Good question. didn't even make the finals. They had lost to India. A team playing against the West Indies after having won a single game in the first two World Cups. In the final, nobody gave India a chance. They were like interlopers. On the day of the match, the feeling was, who are these people? Why are they at Lords? Why isn't England at Lords? Wow. But on the turf of their former colonizer, and with odds of 66 to 1, Whoa! India won. Team has 66 nice. to 1. I would have loved to have made a bet on Whoa. it with 66 to 1 odds. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. The outfits are cool, hey? In 83 was for the first time what? Indians at home. So like preppy. That would have just win a been so awesome. This is a new India emerging. 
I mean, the economic prosperity of India came a decade later. But if you think that marked the moment when India was confident. Hmm. Yeah. And they had every reason to be. Mm-hmm. Everybody fight, fight for their lives. And they said, we will do it. 1983, that generation began to feel they didn't look to have a merit certificate from England to feel that they were good enough to compete in the world. India, for the first time, began to show that a country... It kind of, like, proved side, themselves a little bit. has prosperity. I feel like they may, maybe there was a feeling that they had proved themselves on, in at least on this... A global uh, level? ...section of the world stage. Okay. It yeah. Has Four years later, India hosted the first World Cup outside of England. Oh, cool. Uh, There's an Indian word called tamasha, mm. which means fun, excitement, glamour, uh, uncertainty, all rolled into one. And one day cricket became instant tamasha. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they can like intentionally miss or something. They don't have to bat. They don't have to hit the ball, but they have to protect the wickets, I think is how it goes. Yeah. yeah. Something that was started on green turf with the site of an English church and, and you know, light applause. <laughs> well played. And tea Hello. time. <laughs> Comes this screaming religious ceremony. Well, it looks intense. The World Cup, a magnificent performance in front of 87,000 people. Imran Khan has been inside. Brown wide on the crease and that goes for four. That was a good hit. I'm getting really excited to actually watch a game now. Yeah, I know, me too. Could be caught. Is oh! Sachin oh, so that means he's out. Celebrates. Yeah, Political right? Power I think. Became, <gasps> they don't have, like, did they not have gloves? Do they just, like, grab the ball with their hands? Is that what I'm seeing there? Do they have gloves now? Let's take a look, because look at this. What? I could be totally wrong here. Could be caught. Is caught. Sachin. Maybe just, like, little glo- a little glove. There? Sorry, boy, it looks like he caught it with what? his bare hand, from what I can tell. Yeah, wow. I would, uh, yeah. yeah. Do they not have, like, a baseball? Bloody type of thing. Nope. Political power then became. No, they World don't. Was, so it went from being England and Australia running the game to a more global thing. Mm. In England, domestic cricket was losing fans. Oh, wow. No one's there. So something was done to save the sport Whoa. at home. But it would only accelerate the power shift to Asia. In the early 2000s, a British TV network paid for Stuart Robertson and his marketing team to research what the problem was. Mm. The key word that came out of that was cricket was inaccessible to mm. sport for the posh. Robertson had an idea, an even shorter form of cricket limited to just 20 He said it was inaccessible to, it was more of a posh thing? Maybe, maybe just- Is that uh, in, what he said, posh? I think he did, yeah. So maybe it was seen as sort of like a more higher, loftier kind of sport. But was that, it actually legitimately like inaccessible? Like they would only let certain. Oh no, I don't. No, I, no, I think like part of a club or something. No, I think no. what he means is that just the barrier to entry was higher than other sports. There's a uh, lot of rules. It could go on for many days, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So each team that would last three hours. Good idea. And we asked those mm. people if we introduced a game of cricket that lasted uh, less than three hours, oh, would okay. they come to mm-hmm. see the game? Yeah, because I guess and the duration. All of those people who were indexed as never having come to a cricket match before, they massively over indexed in saying, yes, we would come. Nice. Oh, okay. They called the new format 2020, T20 for short, and pitched it to the heads of English cricket at Lords. We're arranged around this. I just want to know how long they play per day, per. Say it's like a five day mm. match. I think someone filled What's us in duration? on that. And it's like, say yeah. you buy a match ticket though. Do you just, do you, do you actually just buy hang out the, all day? the whole <laughs> match? Yeah, yeah. Like, so you're not sure whether your ticket's going to be good for like one day or five, depending well, on how. Well, I see. Well, well, you know, say you work, you can't attend. Yeah. The yeah, there's some logistical challenges here. Half of like the match or something. You can only make like the first day. And the, yeah, 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 I see why. Like, yeah, you might have a couple of shifts and then come back on your day yeah. off and then finish up the game. And it went all the way around to Yorkshire. You know, the 60 year old uh, white males who would love their traditional cricket, don't particularly like change. Then the uh, boat went up, started counting the hands as quickly as I could. And we realized that it was 11 7. In favor. Nice. The next summer, T20 made its debut in England. The guy in the PA system, at the start of the game, he said, Welcome to the future of cricket. And it was amazing. It was a great T20, statement. is that the like short form? Is yeah. that what he's calling yeah, it? Yeah, that's what they're calling it shorthand. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is this new format. But that's... test cricket's the original longer duration 
I think, or something. I still remain to be sold on the idea. I don't like the razzmatazz that's going to go with it. Mm. The rest of the world got their opportunity to judge the new format in 2005. We welcome the world into Eden Park, Auckland, New Zealand, the first ever 2020 international in the history of the game. New Zealand against Australia. It felt a little bit like they weren't taking it very seriously. And here they come. Oh, that guy's here. The players aren't taking it seriously. What is he on? Or a lot, like they weren't taking it very seriously. They were all but drinking during the game. Uh -huh. And that tells you how serious the game was. Oh my heavens! They look like a, a psychedelic funk band. Ah! Uh, Chicago what? in 1975. They're having that fun. reputation stuck. And when the format got its own World Cup, the advertising made it clear that T20 cricket was for... Party people! Yeah! World T20 from the 11th to 24th September. Was for what? What did he say? Party yeah. people! People who like to party. It's off the hook. You were like, this is stupid. We've already got one day cricket. We're more than happy. We don't need this like other the opposite. T20 cricket. It's like obnoxious it? cricket. <laughs> the other form was just like really. Uh, it's a little bit more intense, you maybe. You know, it's a little bit more condensed. It's uh... an English invention. India was had almost dragged into the uh, World Cup of 2007 in Johannesburg. They were, they were virtually dragged there. They sent over a young team. That happened to be the best thing they could have done because hmm. a lot of the old players didn't really understand T20 cricket, whereas the young players kind of understood that you had to go as hard as you could. Mm. Oh, okay. Yuvraj goes into the throw. That's massive. Nobody likes change, right? The teams that Takes a while. We're, we're playing, mm -hmm. it was Pakistan. They were going to lose to Pakistan in the final. And then Misbah al Haq, just as he's about to hit the winning runs, hits the ball straight up in the air. Uh, and so if he caught it, then he's out? Yeah. The Johannesburg I think, miracle. yeah, if he catch and an air ball. as a result of that, India said, oh, this is T20. If, if one day cricket was Tamasha, this was super Tamasha. In 2008, India launched a new T20 tournament called the Indian Premier League. Oh, I've heard so much about in the first that. two years, the IPL doubled in So value. they still have, like, the test cricket, though, too? They just have these different... Uh, flavors of forms. cricket? I'm not sure. I I, and in the decades since, it has developed a unique brand. Or did Test Cricket like it retire almost? Uh, I kind, don't think so. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of getting the sense that uh, that this is the more popular version now. This is the sort of oh, okay. cricket that you're going to turn TV on and, and see, but okay. I could be wrong. Let us know, guys. It that combines entertainment with fast paced action and attracts players from around the world. Oh. It certainly looks exciting. Team owners include Bollywood stars. Well, you like need that, Putin. right? That's the thing is that you need like an end result. Mm -hmm. That's what like a hockey game is. It's like yeah. within like a couple hours. Well, if you're going to go out for the evening or go out for result. the afternoon, you need to know how long it's going to yeah. take and when you're going to be home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Shah Rukh Khan, who take an active role in promoting the league. India, cricket and film is a religion, and blending the two is quite a mix. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's quite exciting. She's straight gorgy. With IPL, the Indians finally discovered a three hour Bollywood movie, which is actually live cricket. Oh. It is player number eight. What? Every season opens cool. with the auction where celebrity owners bid for players. Oh, wow. Teams also create their own anthems. Shahrukh so the teams have like their own song. <laughs> that means we can react to them. <laughs> oh, sweet. That'd be awesome. Made for television excitements and these wonderful sort of uh, routines and mm -hmm. dances. Wow. It's like their form of cheerleaders or something. Up. They brought or the halftime show there. Uh, yeah. American, what do you call them? Not the Can Can Girls. Well, the American cheerleaders. cheerleaders? <laughs> Cricket has never had a primetime TV product that we can put on every night of the week. And that is essentially what has turned T20 in from being a very good game for crowds to go to to being the number one thing in cricket. They just like remarketed it. It's it's younger, it's fresher, it's yeah. hotter, it's more exciting, it's yeah. more intense. It's got girls. Got pizzazz. Turning back, if the sponsors are telling you this is where they want to put their funds and the spectators are coming through the game. Yeah, and then the, the sponsors want to join up. Huge in T20 compared to other things, then you gotta run with it. The number of international matches of one day cricket has declined over the last decade, hmm. while the number of international T20s has increased. Over a century after England introduced test cricket to the colonies, this new form of the game has spread outwards from India. 
India has given a model for other countries to follow. When the IPO was successful, all these other places went, well, we'll set up our own leagues and we'll try and be successful. The difference is that the money and the TV is just not as strong in some of those other places. So the BBL in Australia is a very successful league, just doesn't have a billion people willing to watch it. <laughs> now, it is IPL is where they earn the money. All the cricketers from this country want to go and play in IPL. What is international Indian oh, Premier League? I hear oh. so much about that because you've probably heard it before too, and it's like I'm, I wasn't quite sure what it was all about. Huh. They would consider rejecting an opportunity to play for their country if they were offered more money to play professional T20. Half responded yes. Oh wow! Well. People will develop an opinion that some players don't like playing for their country. They're just running the money down, but. Sport is about money, you know, you, you have to make a living, you're a sports person. This is entertainment and you can watch it every night and there'll be an unfolding narrative and that's what sport is at its best is. If cricket isn't trying to entertain people, I'm, I'm not really sure why we're playing it. Mm -hmm. The game has evolved, entertainment is key. So even though I have a great appreciation for test cricket and my career was mm -hmm. over the period when test cricket was strong, mm -hmm. I still have an understanding of where the game has to go, where it has gone. And it's not like test cricket doesn't exist anymore. So someone who wants yeah. to watch that flavor can, but he sort of understands why things need to, to evolve. evolve in this direction. Yeah, yeah. There's no turning back. And wherever the game goes, it won't be decided by British gentlemen sitting in a boardroom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the power of cricket has shifted from England to India. There's no question about it. While Lords is still seen as the home of cricket, that's a symbolic home of cricket. It's like seeing Rome as the great um, mm -hmm. um, capital of the world. That, that was a long time ago. Uh, you know, that is in history. Things Whoa. change. And it's just, yeah, it's just more enticing. It's like, I don't know, I guess I myself would prefer a, like a really long drawn out game and that mm -hmm. it's it's more of like a marathon style right it's a, it's a total i think it would be sort of a completely different sort of feel and the other too, one's like know? a sprint yeah yeah I, and i'm totally down for the uh, three hour sprint with the girls and the halftime show and the fireworks i like that course, a whole lot so um where do we go next year folks we'll go from here yeah. uh, i'd love to watch that trailer all right so we and got a trailer some, to check out that's for sure and someone gave us a link for some cricket plays or something Ooh. like that like it'd be cool to do like the highlights and stuff mm -hmm. we did a few highlights I am, I am definitely down. Video. Yeah. Uh, the, lots to learn. We yes. appreciate you guys being so patient with us. And if you'd like to keep on, uh, I guess, exploring cricket with us, then we're going to ask you to click that subscribe button. Click the little bell icon. Choose all from the drop down menu so you can get updated every, every time, time we upload, upload a new, new video. video. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know by clicking the thumbs up button and leave all your thoughts and recommendations in the comments down below. That's right, guys. We love hearing from you. This is Internet Rabbit Hole Daily, IRH, signing Bye -bye. off. Bye-bye, guys.